Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at conditional probability. So, conditional events are when the, uh, the outcome of one event affects the probability of another event. So, if we can think of, uh, suppose we have a game show, and in this game show, uh, the contestant is going to randomly choose um, something out of this drum and if they pick a heart they win a prize if they pick a star they don't win a prize so in this game show we have three contestants and contestant one is going to choose first suppose w the probability that he wins let's just change the color there the probability that he wins is going to be the number of hearts in the container so which is four divided by the total number of objects in the container one two three four uh, five six seven eight nine ten so four out of ten chance of winning and yeah, that's assuming each object is equally likely to be chosen uh, now let's assume that player one does win so he does win uh, he chooses a heart and he wins a prize so he, he goes off and he's happy and now contestant 2 steps up and he wants to win well the probability that contestant 2 wins now has changed because one of the hearts is now gone so the probability that contestant 2 wins is going to be 3 because there's 3 hearts left out of 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 3 out of 9 so the probability that contestant 2 wins now is 3 out of 9 or if you like one third of the time and let's suppose that contestant 2 did win so he gets a heart he's happy it's now down to contestant 3 what is the probability that contestant 3 now wins well the probability of a win for contestant 3 again has changed so if he's to win there's only two hearts left out of the eight remaining objects so he'll only win one quarter of the time and that's how he will win so let's look at a more complex example so again we have our bag with 15 counters six blue four green three yellow two red so this time we're going to choose a counter at random but this time we won't replace it we're going to pick a second counter and we're asked to work out the probabilities given below so i want the probability that we choose a blue and a green counter so i'm going to choose i want to choose a blue counter and the probability of choosing a blue counter is going to be six out of 15 and because the question says and that means i'm going to multiply my probability so we've chosen a blue counter and now I want to choose a green counter. So there's four green counters in total left out of a total of 14 counters. So the probability of choosing blue and green is going to be 6 over 4. Or 6 over 15 times 4 over 14, which gives me 24 out of... Let's just double check this. Uh, 15 times by 14 is 210. And you could simplify that fraction if you like. Uh, next one. So I'm going to. I want to choose a yellow counter. Don't replace anything, and then choose a red counter. So the probability of choosing the red counter is going to be three out of fifteen. So three out of fifteen multiplied by the probability that I now choose a red counter, which is two out of fourteen, because there's only two left. So 2 out of 14 which gives us 6 out of 210 so let's put our counters back and uh, this time we're asked to choose uh, work at the probability that both counters are green so I want to choose a green counter on the first go which uh, has a probability of 4 out of 15 and then I want to choose a green counter again so I'm going to multiply this by the probability that I choose a green, green counter, which will be 3 out of 14, 
so 3 out of 14 multiplying those probabilities together we get 12 out of 210 um, next question the counters are not blue and yellow so let's just return the counters in there if they're not blue and yellow it's going to be one take away the probability that they are blue and yellow so that'll be one one take away well the probability that it's blue is six out of fifteen multiplied by the probability so we'll take out that blue one uh, the probability now that we choose yellow is three out of fourteen three out of fourteen um, which is going to give us 18 out of 210 so let's do that on a calculator one take away uh, 18 out of 210 gives me I'm getting 32 out of 35 uh, which is 192 192 out of 210 uh, so that will simplify to 32 out of 35 and finally uh, that the counters are not red and green so that will be one take away the probability that it is red and green so red and green which is one take away probability that's red is 2 out of 15 multiplied by 4 out of 14 which is 1 take away 8 out of 210 which is 202 out of 210 and if you want you can simplify that fraction okay so that's uh, an introduction to it here's a few questions for you to have a go at so pause the video now and see how you get on okay hopefully you've had a go at those questions uh, I'll bring up the solutions now and you can mark your work so there we go 28 out of 342 20 out of 342 6 out of 342 327 out of 342 and 307 out of 342 so that's it for conditional probability uh, hopefully you found the video useful best of luck with the revision and I'll talk to you again sometime